Away we go in the middle of the MCG once more. A delightful bounce for the second time. Now Cripps and Murphy. Shins though to Sloan. Shock and kick out of there. Cut out by Cripps. Kept the ball above the head and then had... So you're looking at their small forwards. Petrovsky, Seaton's got one at the moment. So he needs to tighten up. Phillips able to affect the clearance again. Carlton dominating there in the opening stages. Wonder Blues have set up reasonably well here behind the ball, but it's gone forward and it's gone to Cripps. It's gone to the skipper, and he's gone for the goal umpire. And that is magnificent roving. Great stuff from the Carlton captain. Jenkins into the ruck for the Adelaide Crows. Phillips doing the ruck work for Carlton. Kerno gets it out wider still to O'Brien. Back to Cripps. O'Brien, the one two. Back. Up it was. Well called, and That was fantastic footy by the youngster making a home down back right now. Murphy chasing the kick from Cripps. For Carlton, up against Jenkins of the Adelaide Crows. Umpire called play on, even though it bounced over Jenkins' head. Game wears on, and they've got to start laying some tackles in their forward half, the Crows. Matt Crouch is just lurking at the forward 50, no one on him at the moment, but it was picked up nicely there by well, the handball chains for Carlton have been super to watch. Now Kerno able to link up with Cripps. Left foot kick tumbles its way inside forward 50 off. But Carlton matching them at the moment. Tough in the clinches, we'll have another ball up. Six. It's another one for Cripps. Both teams setting up with a lose. Carlton's is a kick away, whereas Adelaide's is just off the back of the stoppage, more an attacking position. So Cripps worrying them. They're putting a hard tag on him, and he gets the free kick for being held. Just caresses it to the top of the square. Kaz Bolt! Up he goes. Gets, gets the call from Phillips. He decides to go short for Cripps. Gets a batch around the body. Left foot kick. Cripps is underneath it. Seatsman does well to affect the spoil and not give away a free kick. Did it really well. Cripps over the top. They've got the numbers again, the Blues. Setterfield just up the line it goes. He'll take that. Kept in by Crouch. Laird had to be quick. Which is why you'd like a Nick Revolt in the box. We might be on for that kind of scoreline today, the way it started. Crouch set upon by Cripps, who reefs it clear. Try what about Kerno's opening term? 15 disposals to lead all comers. Cripps had 13 and a goal. As Phillips goes up over the top. Murphy trying to soccer it clear. Cripps on the chase. He'll get there first. Second in the AFL for contested marks per game. Harry Mackay. Look at that work from Cripps. Looking for Murphy. Sloan kept at it. Laid the tackle. Murphy still able to get it to Cripps for another possession. Spent a bit of time at the Adelaide Crows as well, did Teague. DeLuca tried to find Gibbons. It spills for Cripps. We've seen the big bodies back in there. The difference that it's made for the Blues. Cripps again reading the ruck work. Setting up Kerno, who's having a fantastic game, but it's another poster. In at ground level, it's Walsh, favourite for the rising star, a red-hot favourite. Cripps straightens up, that kick, and able to find DeLuca. Good. Walker's kicked the last three goals for the Adelaide Crows. No Ruckman decisive. Another free kick spotted, it's going the way of Carlton. 10-4 so now out of the centre, the Blues. Sloan loses out again, gives away the free kick to Cripps. Goes long inside forward 50. The Ruckman goes down there again and he takes the mark. Phillips got rid of O'Brien. One of those clean players. His pickup in the first quarter was breathtaking. Setterfield replicated it in this second term. Bouncing exemplary from all the umpires today. Phillips getting after it again. Spills the. Yep, so Jones has it. Jenkins hit the score a goal. He averages three against Carlton. And Cripps gets one for pushing the back against Laird. So. The equilibrium. You can't see time. any evidence of anyone going to Patrick Cripps at this. If he gets close, I'll, I'll give him that tap on. He said he batted it forward there before, and uh, O'Brien nearly kicked the pack 10 metres forward. He's <laughs> big right foot there. Deegan Carlton, Adelaide playing catch up here. Cripps, another possession. Just enough room for Walsh. 13 away from the personal best. O'Brien took that out of the ruck. They didn't think that was a fair handball. The Blues faithful, including Port Adelaide. Set a foul. Margin back to 22 points. All important third term. A couple of minutes after that beautiful goal from Paul Seatsman. But there he is, the extractor again. The walk back to the fence. Can the Crows get a goal inside forward 50 this time? Carlton have the numbers. And Brian gets up, but it's Phillips who gets the tap. And there he is again. Poetry in motion as Patrick Cripps goes long up towards McCarr as he pushed out. Crows fans say no, Carlton say yes, it's a goal anyway, in they go, DeLuca's kicked the first, and Carlton fans are raptors here at the MCG.
Here's the free kick count that's got the Carlton fans up in arms. Plus eight for Adelaide. Adia. It's in there. Half of the ground right now. Sloan tried to flick it out. Kerno got his hands on a Cripps. One more touch. Closing in on 39 for a PB. Phillips brought it down. Just eluded Walsh. High contact they want and they'll get it. The captain and the ironic cheers at the MCG. Hit the wall, Carlton have been able to set up. Phillips, great ruck work. Look who's got it again. Cripps setting it up for Centerfield. Bending it, bending it. Listen to the G. At the MCG. And one, once again, it was Patrick Cripps who got the ball out. Centerfield, beautiful composure to kick the goal. 18 clearances, 19 first possessions he's had. Four goals in six minutes is now the unlikely equation for the Adelaide Crows. So Sloan doing his best up forward there for the Adelaide Crows, but it's Cripps again who gets the break. Seedsman tackled. Centerfield grabbed without the ball. Umpire saw it my way. Now calls the advantage.